Get full access to our 10,000 episodes with your paid subscription. My Outdoor TV. Start your free trial today. This is uh, Scott's backyard, and here at Montauk, chasing big snipers. The whole different game. I think the dinner bell just rang. Kingfish is just showing up to eat. Hopefully turn those little bait fish into 40, 50, 60 inch kingfish. Mississippi, who would have thunk it, huh? Just let it hit the bottom, give it a little jerk or two. I am on the bottom, Scotty. Waiting for that vicious strike. I smell them. I smell them. There we go. There he is. When you got a good one on, you know it. It's a two-handed bow. Help me. Woo! No, oh, that's a king. That's a good king. Solid Mississippi kingfish. Oh, big squirrel! I think we found the bite. Talk, jutting out far into the Atlantic. Travel offshore for tuna, marlin, and shark. Inshore, the prize of coastal waters, giant striped bass. Endless shoals of bait have for a millennia fed the North Atlantic's most valued game fish. Gold standard of stripers, Director of the Mint, Scott Leonard. Montauk, one of the most crowded places to striper fish in the entire world. There's always a way to catch a monster fish. Big fish off Montauk. Before a 50 pound monster comes a much smaller, but just as important target. So the hunt is on for the bait fish for stripers. Another part of the planet where the father of waters flows into the Gulf of Mexico. Fred is riding with Captain Neil Foster, champion king fisherman. No less than for stripers, kingfish need bait, and the place to find them is unique to the Gulf. So, we've made it out to our first oil rig. The first step in this whole process is getting bait. Here, hopefully we can load up the well, start the evolution of the food chain. Hopefully turn those little bait fish into 40, 50, 60 inch kingfish. Got you right on top of them. Up right there. Someone's gotta put them on the bait. Yeah, Skip. I'm trying to keep my hands clean. go deep on them. Neil's working them up on the surface. I'm going deep. When we do find the kings and we're in a hot bite, you don't want to run out of bait. Found them, Neil. So that's our first mission of the day. Try to stuff these live wells. Now that is what catching bait's supposed to be. And stuff them we will. Captain's got one on. He's on them. He knows what he's doing. That right there is what we need. That's a prime king bait, blue runners. One kingfish, two kingfish. Well, this is what we've been trying to do all morning, is get bait in the boat like, like that. Off Montauk, they rig bait for striped bass. This is Scott's triple threat. We've got a triple rig system here to catch big flounder and some sundials. Here's a two ounce bucktail on top. In the middle, it's got a nice light epoxy head for a lot of action. And 
Nice little sand deal. So here we go, triple threat. Bait is the key to stripers. And around here, there's a new bait of choice. I've heard stories about people using flounder sometimes in stripers. I mean, I'm a pogey guy across the board. Down he goes. Fly bombing pogies, chunking pogies. There we go. Boy, he moved some water. It's a beautiful fish, Trev. Chunking herring. There we go. Wow. Look at the girth of that. Check that out. Whatever it takes here at Montauk, it's a whole different game. It's a great thing about fishing. There's always something new to learn from somebody. Let's go fishing. Choosing a bait and then dropping it down to the bottom is just the beginning. Then comes contending with jagged rocks and tangled kelp to land a fish. It's a big bait, he's gotta eat it. There we go. Fish on. Got him, Kelp? Yep, got him. We hope you've enjoyed this free episode. To continue watching, start your free trial now.